Well, thank you all uh, for joining us here today on, on this very important topic. Uh, we are, I'm joined with Senator Turner and Peg Rosenfeld from the League of Women Voters uh, to talk about the legislation uh, that we plan to introduce and give you some background on that as well. Uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, our Secretary of State uh, failed to timely transmit months of voter registrations as he's required to do by federal and state law. Uh, those are voter registrations that were done at Ohio BMV offices across the state. Uh, we know that about 15,000 voters uh, in Cuyahoga County alone have been affected. Uh, we don't know yet how many have been affected statewide. Um, but we do know that federal voter voter laws require that the registrations uh, be transferred from the BMV to election officials within five to ten days of acceptance at a BMV office. And state law actually requires it to be five days. Uh, this uh, big mistake is a repeat of the mistake made during the November 2012 election cycle when nearly 100,000 Ohio voters registration updates made through the BMV were sent to local boards of elections just days before a major presidential election. Sending months worth of data involving thousands of Ohio voters, again just before election day on May 7th, sends our Ohio election officials scrambling. Boards of election workers will have to work overtime to update these registrations and counties will have to pay to reprint thousands of precinct poll books because of this mistake. Voters will also be impacted in a variety of ways. Some voters will think that they're registered, only to find out that they're not. Some voters who have requested absentee ballots at their new address will have had those requests denied because their voter registration updates were not transmitted in time. Even worse, some voters' absentee ballots could be rejected because they have sent them in before these updates have gone through. Still other voters will not know their correct polling place because they were not notified of the new location in a timely manner. These voters may be forced to cast provisional ballots, which have a strong chance of being rejected. Also, um, Ohio falls way behind other states in the number of our citizens that are registered to vote at the BMV. For example, Pennsylvania, a state roughly the same population as Ohio, registered six times more people at their BMVs than we did at our BMVs in the same recent two-year period. This startling difference alone warrants a thorough investigation into whether Ohio is complying with federal law. Also, Ohio saw more provisional ballots cast in the 2012 presidential election than ever before. 20,000 of those voter ballots were eventually rejected because the voters were not registered. We should be very concerned that these voters would have been registered at the BMV, but were mishandled or never asked to register. So now I'll introduce Senator Turner, who's going to talk a little bit about our 